this is the $80 mini PC. And it is going to get modified once again. I have crippled it in one way. I have crippled it by giving it a gigabyte of RAM. But I decided that is not crippled enough. So this is the Intel Celeron G1820 TE. A 2 core, 2 thread CPU with a base frequency of 2.2 GHz and no boost. It will not focus. It refuses to. That is going in here. Excuse my disgusting mouse pad. Dude, Jesus. Let's take it apart. I'm not going to put the 1 gigabyte of RAM in right away. Cool beans. Let's go see if it works. All right. Press the power button. The light flashed super fast. Usually it's a pretty slow blink. CPU replacement was detected. Some system features will be disabled. Press Y to continue. System will go through reset. I didn't fart by the way, that was the ball. Oh. Okay, I could have clicked something there, but I didn't read it fast enough. Which is interesting. It's... Okay, now it's actually working. Right? Okay, it's had to reboot like four times. Jeez. Oh. Oh no. Updates. It is working. Um. So the resolution seems to be a little weird. And it just shut down. No, it didn't. It corrected itself. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually super happy that worked. You know, it wasn't... Dude, I'm not even... Oh, <laughs> it's bad, dude. There's no way. There is no way I can game with this. Yes, two cores. Two threads. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my. Okay, let's. <laughs> it's already 100%. Let's run Cinebench here in a sec. Oh no, there's startup apps. No wonder it was maxed out. There's startup apps too. Oh, wait. It's actually calmed down, look. Wow, it's actually handling Windows 11. Two cores, two threads. Though, well, I don't know how well you can see that, but like, 
5%, 4%, it's going down. And with the two chips side by side here, on the right being what's currently in it, and on the left being what was in it, you can see that it's quite the downgrade. Half the cores and a quarter of the threads. Before, for whatever reason, Tech Power Up says it has a TDP of 554 watts, but when you go on the Intel website, it says 35 watts, which pretty weird, but I don't think it's that big a deal. And here we have HW monitor to monitor how much power it uses to you know, confirm to really confirm the 54 or 35 watt TDP, and just to view the temp, see how hot it gets, see if it like gets hot enough to thermal throttle. With Cinebench, I just point with my hand with with Cinebench R23.2. Let's do it. And the verdict is in, and wow, the score is insanely bad. 714 points for multi-core. We compare that to the i7-4770, no, 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 i7-4785T. Its multi-core was 3400 on the dot. And its single core was 674. So this barely beat the single core performance of the i7, which, no, uh, that's insane. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, let's do single core. Four hundred seventeen points. You know, usually the multi-core and single-core scores are very far apart, like thousands. Not in this case. You know, on the i7 core was thirty-four hundred, single-core was six seventy-four. That is well, it makes sense. It's only two cores, two threads, but yeah, that's. Uh, really bad score you know i was doing stuff and it totally froze yet it's playing the ad i can't scroll click on another tab now we got some 3d mark running we're gonna see what it can do here all right fire strike strike is done installing let's see what we get oh. that was close No frame counter, seriously. It can't even load the frame counter. Or any of the stats on the bottom. I don't think that matters. I think it'll be just as bad.
We got our scores. All right, Fire Strike, i7, 807, <laughs> Sauron, 340. Graphics score, uh, i7, 862, Sauron, 395. Physics score, i7, 7417, Sauron, 2138. Combined for the i7 is 287, combined for the Sauron is 103. <laughs> 1. 1.8 FPS. Wait, physics test? Oh, the i7 got 23 FPS on the physics test. Celeron, 6.79. Combined, 0. 0.48 for the Celeron, for the i7, 1.34. Then the graphics test, you know. 
Final Fantasy was one sec. Both are bad, but the sellout is worse. Way worse. Alright, I'm like not totally sure if you can see this. But I think you can see it. Uh, my display is super whited out. Graphics. Uh, let's go low. Bilinear. Try it. I think bilinear is better. See a bit. Default. Oh, you can do. Okay. Performance. Alright. Oh no. My game froze. Oh, we're good. World dynamic lighting quality. Fastest model. Wait. Minimum. Oh. Normal. Low. Frame. Sure. Show blood. Yeah. Corpses. Tiny. Uh, everything. No. There's no resolution. You can't change that in this game. It's kind of interesting. It's running well. Oh, it froze. Alright, I want to see options, performance, sync every frame, no. Oh my! What? Uh, makes a big difference where I look. I'm supposed to go through this door. Uh, let's actually turn them up. Uh, performance, dynamic lights, everything, fastest, nicest, model detail, normal, high, maximum, yeah, sync every frame, no, show blood, yeah, and of course is, clip is insane. Here, in the observation tower, grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it. The number of rounds in your weapon and the rounds you are carrying are displayed in the lower right corner of your HUD. Keep I think we can go further though, like graphics. Wait, video. Oh, I didn't even set a resolution. What? Ready? What? Twenty. What? Okay, we'll do 1600 by 1200. Brother, how does that look? What is this? <laughs> oh, because it, it didn't apply 1600 by 1200. It went to 600 by 800. Or 800 by 600. That's why. And it did the same thing. Your target, your accuracy will be defined by the tightness of your crosshair. Dude, it's getting a 300, almost four. No, see, my game is all whited out. Well, my screen is anyway. Oh, that hurt me. I cannot make it in that window. Each window and door. Yeah, I can't make it in there. Especially that one. I keep going too high. And there. Too low. There. Too low. Right there. Too low. There we go. Oh, my game froze. Remember, Private. And we're good. Because it was saving. Help. 
Well, that ran super smoothly. So, uh, I guess we'll move on. Alright, we got COD 2, 1080p low everything. Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as wow. I say. Now, walk over to that thing wow. and pick up those weapons. Big change of performance, probably because I went from 800 by 600 to... 1080p. Well, the game is actually running pretty well. Like, not terribly. It doesn't feel too bad. But it really makes me worried for... Next game. And my game froze. Headshot. Dude, this is actually kind of awesome. Just throwing potatoes everywhere. Oh, my game froze. I got too many potatoes on the ground. It's too graphically intense. Doing better than I thought it would, though. Grammar's going down, though. I did not get this far in the last in the previous benchmarks. It's for sure. Dude, frame rate is really going down. You, know, you can just shoot blindly in the smoke. He's got enough ammo for that. Oh, that's a friendly. It really goes down doing stuff like that. Which, ooh. I think 720p would be a lot more playable. Oh. Alright, here we are, 720p, and it is. Frame rate is a lot higher. And this game still looks pretty good, too. Getting 60, 70 FPS. It's pretty good. I'd say. Well, no, it's, it's pretty good. I'm gonna skip what I said. That's not bad at all. Got boom. Well, if a man does his best, what else is there? General George S. Patan. Well, I'd say that's a pass. Alright, COD Modern Warfare. 1080p everything low. 1080p everything at low. Wow, that's... Running better than... Well, maybe I gotta wait for combat. But we'll see. Yeah, it is. It's pretty darn good. Almost 60 FPS, 1080p. Game looks clear. I think I'll have to do another video doing a side-by-side -side of the two, though. Because I didn't like pay this much attention to the settings with the i7. Holy crap, dude. That's... Jeez. <laughs> settings go low. <laughs> it's still clear though. Like, I can see good. I don't think I can do very good though. I got him using a... Picnic table for a mouse pad. I jumped too early. Crap. Oh! It froze. Freezes every once in a while, but other than that, it's still pretty smooth. I've done this. Through the door. Wait, Rascal, oh, I'm still messing up though. Right, so 
Nah, I don't care. Right, here we go, actual gameplay. Frame rate is a decent bit lower. Yeah, dude, I need to... The side-by-side -side I'm doing is pretty bad. I'm not even doing the side-by-side, -side, but... You know, I didn't... I should've... That video wasn't done very well. I should do another video on it. Ooh, frame rate really dropped. Hundred percent looks horrendous. There you go. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, this doesn't look very good or run very good. But let's just try and get it down to 720p. That should be a good frame rate. I feel better, about 60 FPS now. Ready, sir. Man out. Three meters spread. Got two on the platform. I see him. Tango down. Missed. They ain't hitting a hundred FPS just then. Okay, I'm playing really dumb right now. Jeez! <laughs> I got way too cocky or something. No, I'm a cocky just playing dumb. Just playing like an idiot. Ooh. Well, I know I'm not RAM limited. That yeah, frame rate's still good, though. Still in 20p, although. Could probably increase them a little bit, but. Why not have all this frame rate? You're looking around at all the chaos, it dropped down to 70 for a second. But that's not bad. Let's wait till we get outside. Here's the frame rate. Oh no, it's still pretty good. Yeah, 720p was the right call all along. Something tells me, uh. Something tells me World at War is gonna be rough though. Maybe, we'll see. But I'm in COD World at War. I've put all these as low as I can. Texture settings as low as possible. And for whatever reason. Oh, I probably have to do it in the menu, don't I? That's probably where I change the resolution and those other things. Yep. 1080p. There. Well, this frame rate is just not at all. It's very delayed. Very, very delayed. Oh. Oh. My cursor feels terrible. Where is 720p? Perfect. Press. 
Oh. Oh, never mind. Whatever. That's not. Ooh, that's pretty bad, though. I think the resolution could come down a little bit. Well, I'd say this gets a pass. I mean, I need to lower the resolution a little more, but I don't want to restart the game like that. So, I'm not gonna. And now for farts and giggles, I'm gonna try and run Fortnite. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of shocked that it's working. May not be very well, but my cursor feels good, that's good. Uh, okay, that's a problem. I absolutely need to go below 1080p. Wow, I'm up to almost 30. I'm already blown away by the resilience of this processor. Parallax. Some menus like the item shop may have parallax effects. Yeah, disable that. Any effects turned off? Body preset low. Mix AA off. Yeah, turn off AA. Two. 3D res 50%. The 3D resolution. How far can we go? Oh my god, how was that possible? This is below 10%, so let's go for like 20. Oh. 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 All right. I think we can go lower with the 30 resolution now. If I can, I will. 100%. Well, I'm honestly shocked I didn't spawn in the battle bus, like, falling. I... Holy crap! <laughs> this isn't even unplayable in a frame rate way. This is... Not to mention audio glitches. Like, I can't see. Oh, it's clean up. That 350 megahertz GPU must not be enough. Oh no. Dude, there's no way I can do anything like this. There's no chance with this. This is terrible. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually kind of shocked I can read the letter. That's totally clear. There's gunshots over there. Let's see if I can intervene and steal a kill, maybe. Nope, a little further. With the hand cannon. I'm pretty sure it's a deagle. Let's fight this further up ahead. I think I'm seeing flashing of gunshots. Possibly. There's someone right there. Oh, there's a guy. Where'd he go? Wait, here it is. 85 damage! I did not need to reload. Hold on. Am I being hit? I think so. I'm, he's shooting at me. Full auto with the SMG. Spray and pray. 17 damage. Progress. Come on. Seven, another 17. Is he hitting me? 
I don't think so. Wait, is he not? Wait, I'm gonna run up to him and shotgun him. So I can see more of his pixels. And the game froze. No! Oh, Marshmallow, I can kill him! What? Yo, this guy! <laughs> How am I still alive? No, because me being alive tells more about the other players than me. I missed. I missed. I'm gonna die any second. 34. Did you see that? 34 damage out right there. Where'd he go? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I'm so close. Come on. I shot the. I can't hit anything. <laughs> Are you? Oh my god. No. Did he shield up? No. <gasps> I got a kill. <laughs> I'm a legend. I totally forgot about my electricity grenade. That would have been really helpful. I got a kill. Dude, I 100% deserve like $30,000 in prize money for that. The, the difficulty of the boss must be un, un being shot at. Oh, he's like three pixels tall. <laughs> Hold on, I have shotguns. I have a shotgun, I can shotgun this. I hit him. Six. Oh my god, two kills. Two kills at like 14p. I'm a legend. Does he have heals? Oh, dude, you have no idea how helpful that would be. I think it's like running stuff. But I'm being shot at. Is this full auto? Yes, it is. Oh my god. Three kills. Three kills. Oh my god. I am an actual legend. There he is. I see him. I'm trying to run him. I. <laughs> I turned this so early. Yeah, dude. I think my computer's struggling more to render the bots than the graphics. All right, I think driving around is actually lowering my frame rate. 50, 20, 50? No. Come on. There's no sound. I don't even know if he's shooting at me. Four kills? No, this is embarrassing, Epic Games. You're making bots this easy to kill. Ooh, that 350 megahertz GPU is not liking the water. That is for sure. I don't think any upscaler in the world, even DLSS, can make this look better. That's crazy, even at this resolution, it's still bad. Oh my god, another driver! I think he stopped. I'll be able to know once my game unfreezes. I'm gonna ram him. Risky move. Oh, I'm down. No, I'm not. Come on, shotgun, shotgun. Ah, oh, he meleeed me. Alright, you know, I'm not even gonna bother. Um, Lowering the 3D resolution and trying again. That is, is enough, that's enough of a success for me. Alright.
Here we are with Bioshock in one corner of my screen. Which kind of sucks, but I can fix that. That can be fixed. Uh, 1080p. Low. Low. Uh, windowed mode. Vertical sync off. Force global lighting off. Direct X10 detail surfaces off. Horizontal FOV lock. I think I can keep that on. Apply. So far, oh, it's immediately just settings to get a more playable frame rate. Jump down to 720p. Oh, oh you skip. Oh, there. Alright, 720p. Wow! Well. Rascal, you know, if I had audio, this would be actually enjoyable. 720p all low. Dude, the game, well, I was going to say the game's I'm throwing at it, it's, it's handling. But, that's... Dude, why does the audio cut out like this? Oh, there's some screen tearing. Let's see if we can use VSync to fix that. And, like, it won't ruin our frame rate totally. No chance. Whoa. What is that? Are you... Why 30 FPS? Okay, screw VSync then. Over a hundred and wow. Though the game does look pretty bad. But definitely worth it for that frame rate. For sure. Let me see. How it does in that water section though? I think this is one of the most demand demanding parts of the game. And it, it looks bad. Like there's like nothing to be demanding about. The graphics are so low. It doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad though, it's clear. The frame rate's good. The graphics may look bad, but it, at least it's clear. It's like it's not a low resolution. And if the game is giving the instructions, I don't know what they are because I have no audio. So I guess that's as far as I'm getting. On to Bioshock 2. What? The video card in this computer does not meet the minimum video requirements. I think the game is still launching though. Alright, all right, 60 FPS. Very nice. Node mode off, vertical sync off, shadow maps off, high detail post processing off, high detail shaders off, 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 off. Okay, extra detail. Low texture detail, low call it a day. Yeah, the uh, i7 got 30 to 40 FPS here. Okay, I actually don't like having audio now, it's too creepy. Alright, graphics. Yeah, 1080p, too high, too high. All the way down, 720. Oh, what? How is that that big of a difference? From 18, 19 to 70. That's unbelievable. I kind of can't believe that made that much of a difference. Dude. I gave the... I, I did the i7 so dirty with this. Really did the i7 dirty with this, dude. Textures are low, but the game is clear. Which I can't really whine about. Eh, and there's like no delay either. It gets responsive. Dude, this is this runs so well. Ah, at last a signal. 
All this performance for ten dollars. This would be scarier in high detail though, I won't even lie. I already got a boss fight. I'm gonna destroy you. With the limb rim from limb. Oh. I don't do I have first aid? I don't think I do. I'm screwed. I'm healing, you know? Let's make you malfunction. Alright. I got sucked into it. Let's. Let's go to the next game. Alright, here we are in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Because. No, 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 no. Campaign. Black Ops. Right, here we are. In Black Ops 2 campaign. Because. 1080p super duper low. Let's see. How this does. Ooh, jeez, this is bad. Already at 14 FPS. Oh, I don't even have all the audio. Ooh, the res uh, response time, super bad. 7.20. Bloop, yes. Glory. That's better. Still not great though. Let's go lower. It's too high. I mean, too low. Oh, yeah, let's just go lowest. Why not? 800 by 600. We want to have the clarity or the graphical. Oh, this ain't so bad, and it's a higher frame rate. This ain't so bad at all. Oh, better get out of my face. Dude, this is not so bad at all. I mean, my sights are a little low res, but I mean, overall, not so bad. Definitely playable. I call that a success. Totally playable. 100%.